about this Iowa State team? What, what have they done differently since you guys beat them? Obviously, they've been quite a role. Uh, they're playing with a lot of confidence right now. They're shooting the ball extremely well, so that's what they do best. So we've got to find a way to slow them down a little bit. You just were the last team to handle them before they went on this roll. Uh, yeah, uh, they changed a couple things up. They're playing a little bit bigger now and uh, seem to work well for them. Yeah, you're a you're a sentimental guy, and you got a lot of things to say. What do you <laughs> see your day coming up? What's some of the emotions and, and things that you're going to be going through your mind? Uh, just great for, for the last four years. You know, we've made a lot of memories, had a lot of fun. So we'll go out with one more night. You're a Morgantown guy. What's this mean to you to walk out on that carpet and have everybody you know, you know, applaud your career here, what you've done? It means a lot to me. You know, a lot of people I know are going to be here, so be able to get recognized by all of them and everyone else that knows gonna feel well. Nathan, when you when your recruiting class came in, you guys were coming in off the heels of that 13 and 19 season, the first year in the Big 12. Was there pressure? Did you guys feel pressure coming into being that next class coming in to to make a difference, to make uh, an, an impact, or to be able to help turn things around? Uh, yeah, we did. Obviously, we didn't want that to continue, so we felt it, take it upon ourselves to turn around and help some other people. I think we've done a pretty good job of that. Remember what point you know you felt things were moving in the, in the right direction? Was there a defining point or a memory in that aspect? I wouldn't say it was one defining moment. You know, we just a group of guys that worked hard, and I think that's really what we've rode on for the last four years. You know, I mean, we work hard every day at practice, every day in weight rooms, so and it's kind of translate onto the court. Your recruiting class very interesting. You and, and Brandon and, and Elijah was part of that class, and Holton and Devin. You know guys who left early, who had to wait a year to, to play, you guys dealing with injuries and illnesses, you know, how would you kind of characterize this, the, that class and that bunch of guys that came in with you? Uh, like I said, we're just a bunch of hardworking guys who know, just wanted to play play basketball for Coach Huss. I mean, that's all we want to do. You know, we have been through a lot to do it, but we've done it, so. The fact that you guys have won, is that going to be the proudest thing you're going to take from your experience here? I mean, you obviously win is nice, but it's probably not the proudest thing just to go through it and have the experience and learn from Coach Hoggs and the other coaches. So, got a lot to take away from it. What's the proudest thing for you? Just representing our state well. You know? I mean, not everyone has a grasp on that like I do, so I take great pride in that. Where do those Kansas wins rank in, in your memories playing here? Uh, they're obviously up there, but, you know, beat the number one team in the country like, what, two times now? So we've done a lot of things that a lot of people can't say they've done. Hey, do you remember the first time that the idea of this press mentality and what ultimately turned into Press Virginia, the first time that it was brought to your attention and, and you know how you guys reacted to the idea that you were going to completely change your style? Yeah, it was the summer after freshman year. We started early, but obviously it was a big change for us. It took a while to get used to it, but we implemented pretty early on in the summer, so it kind of worked for us. Was there a time that you got the sense that you know this could work not only as something that would help for the current roster, but you know it would become the makeup, the identity going forward? Uh, you know, you never really know what you're going to be able to do. And obviously, as a coach, you got to adapt to the team you have. So when Coach Lux felt he had the team that could press, we put it in and been doing it ever since. So I'm sure he'll change it if he feels the need to someday. And what do you remember from uh, Ames uh, about? That Cyclones team and how much better do they appear to be now coming into Morgantown? Uh, they were still a good team then. We just played pretty well that night. But obviously coming in, they had a lot of shots. And I think they're shooting close to 50% from three. And they shoot a lot of threes. So you got to contain them. Not that you had much choice, but did you like the press at first when you first put it in? Uh, yeah, it was a little different. Something I've never done before. So it was fun there. Other guys jumped by in? But, I mean, yeah, we all bought into it pretty well. Yeah. I mean, obviously we had success pretty early.